welcome to the new indian express online and bansi karpa with me is actor mr chetan ahimsa who is essentially leading this movement by fire fire is an acronym for a kannada film industry uh, uh, persons associated with the kannada film industry who are asking for equal rights yes and uh, so mr chetan first of all uh, welcome on this program thank you for having me mr bansi So now uh, let me ask you you are asking for uh, an inquiry into the Kannada film uh, related uh, acts of violations against women uh, sexual exploitation issues against women so the first question is why now that's a good question i'd like to articulate clearly that this is not a now situation this has mm-hmm. we have been fighting against this built in systemic gender inequality mm-hmm. and sexual harassment mm-hmm. for a long time now mm-hmm. so and this is building to a strong uh, rising action and putting momentum on the state to follow through we say pan indian box office mm-hmm. we believe in pan indian justice mm-hmm. so i let me break down how this has happened in 2007 i came into the film industry mm-hmm. i had just returned from the us and i was uh, working i want my interest was to serve through art and theater and i got a chance in the film industry i didn't know how the film industry worked mm-hmm. i didn't know how the film industry functioned i didn't know the the structure of the film industry mm-hmm. so from 2007 to 2017 which is about 10 years mm-hmm. i observed the way the film industry structurally systemically existed mm-hmm. and I understood that just by nature of construct mm-hmm. the film industry is a very uh hostile environment for a lot of vulnerable groups women in particular mm-hmm. and it's a very patriarchal very uh, uh cutthroat and kind of ca- kind of a very uh survival of the fittest kind of capitalist uh system where many powerful positions are are uh, held by very regressive patriarchal uh, morally bankrupt men and older men and wealthy men influential men and they and other men along with many other women who albeit they are victims in their own way of this patriarchy but they also uphold this unjust structural system so i would watch mr benzi uh, whenever some kind of a I uh, whenever a woman mm-hmm. came out during that time from 2007 to 2017 January mm-hmm. any time a woman came out and spoke and she said I um I have been wronged mm-hmm. there has been, this is a gross violation of my dignity my human rights and whatever some any any kind of wrong mm-hmm. what would happen is even if the media gave a platform to that lone woman the entire power structure of very a uh, regressive patriarchal and morally bankrupt as i mentioned powerful vested interests men would completely bring down come down on her like a ton of bricks completely crushing her character assassinating her victim blaming her blaming her for her roles blaming her for her clothes blaming her for her uh, past relationships true or not whatever just making her the problem instead of understanding the system that these men and many other forces are beneficiaries of mm-hmm. so then i realized mm-hmm. this cannot be fought mm-hmm. this way mm-hmm. we need a unified voice that we all have to come together on one platform and fight this injustice together mm-hmm. we need organizational strength mm-hmm. so in 2017 january i got a lot of people together who were conscientious people i felt in the film industry and i proposed a concept that we need this group which was named later named film industry for rights and equality fire mm-hmm. to address the situations of vulnerable groups neglected groups groups whose violence by voices while existence have been crushed and silenced by the power structure they we must support them for an equitable film industry so the reason why we started fire was for 3 w's women writers and workers okay. the women writers and, workers. and in 2017 uh march mm-hmm. we registered the organization and our fire was the first film industry anywhere in the country mm-hmm. in india and maybe abroad too but definitely in india to start up our own icc internal complaints committee mm-hmm. on the basis of the posh act mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. which, w- which demands that there must be a film industry ICC. Mm-hmm. So we started up the ICC and uh, we took complaints and each complaint had its own kind of context and its own issues. But women were struggling. And this is not just casting couch for actors. Mm-hmm. This is all women, technicians, workers, mm-hmm. uh, just along the line, any woman in the film industry mm-hmm. faces this to different levels on this unjust system. And of course, we expressed moral support during the Me Too movement when survivors who are true warriors, nonviolent warrior women, mm-hmm. stood up and uh, we, we gave them moral, legal, emotional, other types of support. And, and we also thankful that in other industries, after fire, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's because of fire, but subsequent to fire, other groups also started in their own industries. Mm-hmm. We see Women in Cinema Collective in Kerala, mm-hmm. and they also fought. And we worked in tandem with them. Mm-hmm. Because when, when actor Mohanlal in 2018, mm-hmm. before the Me Too movement bro- uh, broke out, mm-hmm. actor Mohanlal reinstated actor Dilip immediately into the Amma organization. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in his first meeting, mm-hmm. we in fire mm-hmm. got 50 signatures together from the Kannada film industry, condemning that action, opposing that action, and we express solidarity. So we have been working on this, and we are, we just like the way Kerala uh, makes good films in Malayalam, we're talking about good content, successful film, good writing, and they have a good government that actually cares through policy to cleanse, cleanse this and brought out the HEMA committee report. Mm-hmm. We in Karnataka mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. Ex- want that from fire. We are demanding that. Uh, we want such a report for us too. Okay, so you had met with the chief minister asking for a HEMA committee-like commission or inquiry committee here in Karnataka. What was that interaction with the chief minister, Mr. Sidramaya, like? A couple days ago, FIRE, Film Industry for Rights and Equality, this is not an identitarian organization. This mm-hmm. is not some other organizations groups have said uh, for women in cinema collective, which we, of course, believe they are all feminists and equalitarians, but that's a gender identitarian organization. Other groups in Telugu and Tamil have stood up identitarianly. We are an ideological organization for equality and justice. So we have all human beings who believe that we want equality and justice mm-hmm. on gender accounts and all accounts. Mm-hmm. And so we had, uh, FIRE got 153 people. Mm-hmm from within the film industry, a lot of known names, mm-hmm. and outside the film industry who have expressed support through, uh, who have shown commitment and credibility for gender rights and gender justice work. Mm-hmm. And we have, we put their names on a list mm-hmm. and we gave an open letter to the CM saying that we also demand such a uh, HEMA committee rule report for our Canada film industry. Mm-hmm. And we have, and uh, we want a retired judge, mm-hmm. high court or Supreme Court judge, whether it be woman or man or transgender, mm-hmm. we want somebody who is committed to gender rights and gender justice mm-hmm. to bring this out. And we want policies mm-hmm. that uh, correct these measures once this evidence has been done. So this is our fire, and this is we have. These are the 153 names, and these are the 150, all in alphabetical order. Of course, Kavita Langish, our president, is on top. Everybody else is in alphabetical order. So we um. We met the chief minister a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Chief minister gave us one minute of time, and we thank him for acknowledging our uh, our very justified demand. Mm-hmm. And uh, he 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 accepted the request. First thing he said mm-hmm. is that there was a complaint in Kerala, Malayalam industry. That's why they took that Which action. Is what triggered this HEMA committee? That's what. The chief minister claims that that's the reason why. We said we have a lot of complaints in ours. But we can you, provide do you, do you? the other. Yeah, we, of course we have a lot of complaints. Mm-hmm. We have complaints uh, from when we took the ICC mm-hmm. from various segments of women. Mm-hmm. We have women and a lot of warriors in fire mm-hmm. who have actively, while whether it be under the fire banner or not, have mm-hmm. actively fought this in their own experience Mm -hmm. and are willing to come out. Of course, we will never uh, ask anybody. These are very sensitive issues, Mm -hmm. emotional, psychological, often a physical trauma. We will never compel anybody Mm -hmm. to come out if they don't feel comfortable. But there are a lot of women who say we are willing to come out and we want some a cleaner environment. We don't want other women Mm -hmm. and future generations Mm -hmm. to face the same trauma Mm -hmm. and difficulty that we have faced. And that is a very a noble step that we have in fire. And well, another thing uh, we talked about Mr. with Mr. Sidra Maya is he, we will definitely present any reports, uh, any uh, complaints if he requires. And then he made the statement, uh, I'll give you a longer session soon. We'll talk about this. So we expect that he 
he'll fulfill his promise because he was in a rush that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he was walking out, mm -hmm. he made a statement. He said, he just asked a question, he's like, is there really sexual harassment in the film industry, he asked. Mm -hmm. Now he asked that question. Mm -hmm. If, uh, everybody has a right to ask questions, we will give the best possible answer, mm -hmm. uh, whatever we have evidence, empirical evidence for. But him asking that question, mm -hmm. if, it's, if that question is for a set question of to learn about the situation mm -hmm. and provide actual justice accordingly, we will definitely give the required materials. Mm -hmm. But if that is a way of evading this issue, mm -hmm. almost a kind of way of saying, I don't know about this, hence I don't have to solve the issue because mm -hmm. I don't acknowledge that it exists, mm -hmm. then we will complete, we will question that, we will fight this, mm -hmm. and we will also accuse this government like of being a very uh, patriarchal uh, government, not a constitutional, upholding the ideals of constitution. And Mr. Sitaramaya has oftentimes spoken about Ram Manohar Lohia, mm -hmm. who is a very known uh, socialist. And Mr. Sitaramaya has talked about socialism. Ram Manohar Lohia was an active uh, advocate for gender equality and gender rights and gender justice. Mm -hmm. And we asked him, Mr. Sitaramaya, instead of using the, the pulpit for some kind of political opportunities of gain mm -hmm. for some kind of power and to uh, we ask him to put in policies that's something that Mr. Ram Manohar Lohia envisioned mm -hmm. to build a gender equalitarian film industry and remove sexual harassment from all rungs of society. Okay, so now as things stand, you are asking for a HEMA committee kind of an inquiry. And uh, from what I hear, from what the media hears, uh, the government has so far not said yes. So what next? I mean, how do you plan to, you know, go, uh, you know, on this vision to ensure greater safety, greater equality for women? How do you plan to go about it in the coming days? What next? After FIRE presented, uh, made the pub open letter, mm -hmm. and after meeting the chief minister, the woman and child welfare minister, Lakshmi Habarkar, has has said in public that casting couch perpetrators will have strict action against them. Mm -hmm. We welcome this. Mm -hmm. We in FIRE have made, brought out a statement that said we will meet mm -hmm. the women and child welfare minister. And this should not just be words. We want to help support the government and conscientious people like Ms., uh, Mrs. Lakshmi Habalkar. Mm -hmm. Put this into play in democratic ways where we can actually enforce and implement this vision that we feel Lakshmi Habarkar as Women and Child Welfare Minister also shares with us from FIRE. So we're going to meet them, uh, meet her as a group. Our president, Kavita Lankish, is coming back on the 10th. Mm -hmm. So we are planning for that. And also we also are welcome and appreciate the solidarity that women from various parties, such as Manjula C from the BJP mm -hmm. and Soumya Reddy from the Congress, have both articulated that yes, we agree with this demand that there must be a HEMA committee report for Karnataka and Kannada film industry. Mm -hmm. And we, we respect that because anybody who believes in the equalitarian vision, no matter where party or which caste, religion, gender they are, mm -hmm. they are all with us in this fight and we welcome that. So that is, uh, we will continue this. And we also are aware of various things that is happening. Uh, we have come, we have seen in the newspaper that the film uh, chamber mm. is, is, has taken this up from uh, after, this is after pressure from fire for seven, eight years. We've, all, we've gone to the film chamber many times mm. and we've seen their insensitivity and their regressive thinking about these issues and asked that we will handle these cases and there's a lot of evidence for that. Of course, the media has stood in a very sensitive, conscious way and the general public at large mm. wants this brought out and believes this uh, demand is justified. So the film chamber is also saying that we will uh, look into this and we're asking for information about this. We welcome this. Mm -hmm. We want anybody who could do good, anybody who can uh, help us rid this institutional systemic scourge, let them do their part. We all have to do our part. This is not a woman issue. Mm -hmm. This is people who believe in equality and justice as human beings should stand up mm -hmm. and rid this as in totality. So we welcome this and we will also, uh, we're welcome, we're, FIRE is also ready to take part, be involved, support or guide in any way uh, any of these people see fit. So this is an ongoing process. So we are, and we of course expect and hope and we are confident 
uh, the chief minister will also uh, give us extended time mm -hmm. in the coming days like he has promised mm -hmm. these should not be just talking the talk this mm -hmm. must also be walking the walk mm -hmm. and we are expecting that from the administration okay thank you thank you mr Benson. there it is mr chetana himsa telling us that fire is looking for justice for women and uh, will the government say yes to a hema committee kind of a investigation and inquiry here all these are questions before us but in the long run will the women be safer in the Canada film industry this is the big question thank you for joining us on this program thank you